welcome back to the channel. Brian the Divine Healer here with you on this terrific Thursday. How y'all doing? Good. Uh, before I get into everything, noobs, welcome to the channel. Hit the like button, subscribe, become part of the Divine Family. Divine Squad, thank you. Those are my little subscribers. Appreciate your likes, your shares, your subscribes, obviously, and your comments. I love it. Drink your coffee, people. We got some messages today. Mm. Yeah, so, like, um, <clears throat> things are weird, man. You know what I mean? And so, with this tarot, it's even weirder, okay? But, if you take it with a grain of salt, meaning that not everything is going to apply, some things might, that's just um, left for your interpretation, okay? We get the messages, we use these cards as a tool right to tell you those messages okay and so that's really where that's at don't make it like a like a lifetime movie or like a soap opera because some of it can be seemingly like that and it pulls you in you know what i'm saying uh this shit here is just really straight up truth it's pulling your energy of kind of what the vibe is for you. It's not predicting. It's not um, uh, making you uh, have an option of my choice of what you should do in your life. No, hell no. It is the truth that the messages are energetically given and connected by the collective. So, with that being said, hit the like button, subscribe. I'm a different kind of tower reader, okay? I lay my cards different. I use all kinds of ways to be able to interpret the message properly to give you in these here cards, which just basically is telling you a damn story, okay? Sometimes we use numbers, sometimes we use astrology, um, and the definition of the cards, obviously, but that's all just those tools that we use to try to employ our gifts to you so you understand what the hell we're talking about, okay? So just bear with it, go to the end, and then digest it, okay? Cutting it off halfway, five minutes in, whatever. Sure, I'm not forcing you to sit there and watch it, but you know, uh, you might be missing something. So, stay to the end, right? Hmm. So, we last left off with Leo Virgos, right? So now today, we're going to do Virgo Libras. So if your birthday was September 19th through the 25th, part of the cusp of beauty mm. cusp of beauty oh so beautiful that's right all right <clears throat> so news now that i got that kind of out of the way i'm going to now show you how i do the cards okay and so what i do is i take two cards that is to harness and capture your energy in yourself now and the two cards represent the balance of your duality that's your yin and your yang positive negative light and dark good and bad right so then once i get that energy i'll lay more cards out here to tell you a story and in that story will be the message that i'm trying to relay to you so then you can interpret it through my storytelling through the numbers through the pictures uh through the definitions through every which way that i'll lay these cards out okay and then at the end i'll pull two more cards and close your energy for yourself and psh, spank you on your way to go to work or clean your house or wash your dog whatever you gotta do so i hope you digested that pretty well because it's about as um oh uh, doctoral as i get because we know them uh medical terms or definitions are just bonkers no wonder you gotta go to school for so long to learn what that shit means in greek or latin or whatever okay enough with that here we go. Let me give it a couple more, one more shuffle. And we'll see what the Leo Virgo's energy is today. Sip your coffee. Cheers. Hit the like button. Subscribe. First card. Ooh. Yes. Hello. Good morning. Okay. Single, abundant, looking beautiful, right? Stable, grounded. What? Look at all the shine. Okay, nine of pentacles. You're very stable, abundant. You got your shit together. You know what you're doing. Well, that's like damn near empress energy. Well, we'll keep going. 
Here comes your next card. Oh, bam. What? Well, the Knight of Cups is like, you know, taking action emotionally, okay? Presenting an offer of love, right? But it also could be very flirtatious. It could very be like uh, flirty. You like so you're you're just not committing because you're not really trying to commit or put that out there like that. So you're just kind of going with the flow, right? So this is kind of mm, okay. This is kind of the single life. <laughs> Let's keep going. Here's your first card of the story. Where the hell is this going? Okay, so uh, there's some kind of news or some kind of message that comes out. And I, I just, the graphics on the cards are sometimes humorous. Look at the top of the wand. Right, you see it. I know you see it. That could mean that too, right? <laughs> but that would make sense with this flirty... Uh, empty offer kind of deal for your energy so right okay that's sassy that's the <laughs> that's okay so page of wands that you could be hearing some news you could be uh you know uh, putting some kind of news out about just you know playing around kind of shit all right let's go let's go well, it, it, it's going to take a little bit of courage, okay? A little bit of courage, some strength. Yeah. Let's keep going. Well, you know, being single and taking action in the way that you see fit, basically. Um, you're starting to put yourself out there, right? And maybe news, people get wind of it, right? People get wind of it, and you're having strength. You, you're displaying courage. I don't know, but this is crazy. Let me pull another card. because <laughs> It's the emperor. Okay. Well, it's your emperor that's putting out this news uh, 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 of this this passion, this top of the wand kind of thing, right? And they're feeling feeling very strong, okay? This is your energy, this is theirs, because the Empress pop, Emperor popped out, okay? So it's your Emperor that is trying to uh, be strong and courageous and put this message, this news, this, 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 this little offer, okay? Yeah, and it's about working together collaborating cohesion doing something together mm. Mm. to see right it kind of looks like your freaking emperor's on the prowl what do you think about that Pull another card. Let's keep getting into this juicy ass story. <laughs> okay. Hangman. Bam. But they're kind of stuck right now. Meaning it's a self-imposed prison. Okay. If you really look, prison as in just delayed time. If you look at the rope wrapped around his feet in the uh you know that's pretty tied off that's pretty set so like you, you tie that yourself so you're just like uh you get when you get this news from your emperor about wanting to explore each other and all that fandangoness, 
that comes with the page of wands. Well, that leaves you a little bit upside down, a little bit like, don't know where this came from, don't know how this happens. It's kind of like news to you, but you, you, you I don't know, I, I feel, let me, let me feel this here, oh, yeah, you, you feel like this King of Wands person, which is really Emperor, I don't know, maybe you just feel that they're really not the Emperor, as they say, and maybe they're like this King of Wands who is like, pretty stable you know but very like bold and and i don't know just it, it doesn't seem it just seems like they're more about one kind of thing and that's the passion that kind of that goes with this page of wands offer with the top of the wand looking like that shit you know what i mean someone you go to meet some shit whatever who said that high priestess <laughs> holy shit all right, High Priestess comes out. So this is the time where your higher self, your intuition really needs to understand this, okay? And this is why you're part of in that hangman status because it does, the High Priestess is, is, is in that kind of way where you know within what the answer is going to be or what is the truth, you know what I mean? Right, so the Queen of Cups. Trust your intuition. I told you, intuition after intuition. Right. Oh, smacking it around. So trusting your intuition about all this. Because you have the knowledge within you to know this emperor. Okay. Whether they're wanting to play fuck shit or not, this is where you're trying to figure it out. Okay. And, and that's going to lead to a brand new star in love. Ace of Cups, my friends. And then it's directly underneath the Emperor. Well, smack my ass and call me Sally. If you're 18 and under, get the hell out of here. But look at the progression of this. <sighs> High Priestess and the damn Queen of Cups. Come on, that's intuition on, on top of intuition. And you're going in the hangman says to get to this intuition about having this new start. Yo. Because you've seen them maybe this way, but they're really this way. You see them as the king of wands because they came as the page of wands, but they're really the empress. Emperor. Whoa. Okay. I should not talk anymore. <laughs> it's a decision that you need to make, and it's an intimate decision within yourself. And your mind about exploring this new fuck, this new start, exploring this idea with this emperor. Come on, two swords, the choice is yours. Because you only have two more cards before the end of the story. So hit the like button and subscribe. Become part of this divine family. Appreciate that. I love it. I love it. I love it. And leave a comment, you know. Okay, so here we go. Almost there. Oh, you're definitely juggling this decision. That's part of the hangman shit. What is that? You still don't know. Look at two of swords over here, two pinnacles over here. You're thinking this way, but they're trying to show you this way. <gasps> what a dilemma. A dilemma, I would say. Okay. I don't know, but here, I'm looking at the Two of Swords with the moon right there. It's a half a moon, so... Uh, you have half guidance on what you know is the, to be, you know, what this is. And trusting your intuition. But you're, you're just doubting it a little bit. Doubting yourself. Okay, well, here you go. We'll take that. Hi, the Hierophant. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Shut the front door and slam it hard and lock that shit. This is, this is like sign of authority, like a spiritual. They're like, they've got in tune with not being this king of wands, but really being this 
emperor and they stepped into this energy and it's it's really like the hierophant's like Taurus energy so they're grounded right they're on top of their shit because they're presenting themselves in a way that you haven't seen them change and that's why you're all stuck in your head being like what I'm not sure I, I, uh, there's not enough to go on are you still like this or are you still like this now Wow. That's the story, my friends. Let's get to the damn outcome because this is like, boom. This, this, this is definitely like, okay. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Look at how much this person is happy and you're happy and they're happy together. Man, this person is going to be very nurturing to you. They're going to give you everything under the sun. Yeah. I mean, coming from the Hierophant, the highest energy vibing with the Emperor. I mean, even though the Empress and the Emperor are highest cards, but then you have the High Priestess and the Hierophant, which really are the highest cards. It's like the Emperor manifests into the damn Hierophant. And then the Empress, when they manifest and get to their highest, highest level, well, now they're the damn High Priestess. Oh, that is Tarot School 101. Okay, so let's keep going. No. Well, three of wands, there you go. Boom. Look at you in the sun, basking in the sun. I'm not going off the definition. I'm looking at my intuitive self and saying this is, this is you letting go of this juggling and this mental decision and trust your intuition because you know already the answer. The High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. Intuition on top of intuition. Holy shit, that's been your reading. That was deep. But you know, y'all see it. Okay? Y'all see it. And so, let this message be for you, and please, spread it around. If it isn't for you, some of it is, and if it isn't, hit the like button so everybody else can get a chance to pop on it and see, right? Because this definitely is for somebody, very specific. So, thank you for coming. I really appreciate that. That was very heavy energy, and, uh, you know, with that being said, I hope you all guys have a great day. You go to work. Things are smooth. Okay, so don't forget to look for the synchronicities. And that little voice inside of you always tells you right. So with that being said, peace and pray. And I'll see you all again. Mm -hmm.